If you've been thinking of trying Singapore math for your homeschool math curriculum, this video is for you. I'm going to walk you through all of your options so you can make the best choice for your family. Whether you're looking for a math curriculum that you can teach yourself, or a curriculum that uses video instruction to accompany the written curriculum, or even an online math program. You have a lot of options with Singapore Math. In my family, my older daughter has been using the Dimensions Math curriculum, so I will explain why we chose that one, and I'll show you what it looks like. We've got a lot to cover, so get ready. And if you have any questions as we go through the video, just make a note and leave a comment at the end of the video, and I will be happy to answer or find the answer for you if I don't know it. Okay, so what is Singapore math? Well, as the name implies, it is a math curriculum that started in Singapore. It came out in the 1980s for Singapore public schools and eventually expanded to be used around the world. Singapore math focuses on mastery and helps students learn to think mathematically. It also includes a lot of mental math techniques, and that is something that my older daughter had struggled with and is one of the reasons why we decided to switch to this program. It also uses a lot of visualization tools to help students really understand the math concept. So if you're thinking this is something you want to try, you have a lot of choices and so I'm hoping this video can help you understand your options. On the Singapore Math website, there are essentially two different curriculums to choose from. There is Dimensions Math and then there is Primary Math. Dimensions Math is what we are using and it goes from pre-K to 8th grade, although the 6th to 8th grade program is a little bit different than the elementary version. There is only one edition of Dimensions Math, but there are actually four different editions of Primary Math. So you really have five different options to choose from. Dimensions Math is what they call their flagship curriculum. This one is great for students who don't struggle too much with math and for parents who are generally comfortable teaching math. But don't worry, they have teacher guides and even a video subscription that we'll talk about in a little bit. Dimensions Math is also supposed to be the most affordable choice and includes more mental math strategies and a greater variety of problems. This is a good choice if you want your student to become more advanced in math than the typical U.S. student, but still cover the Common Core standards. Although they do mention that these standards might be covered in a slightly different order. For primary math, there are four editions. The U.S. edition, the 2022 edition, the standards edition, and the Common Core edition. Primary math is the original Singapore math curriculum. If you choose the U.S. edition, you'll be getting the curriculum that is closest to the original 1980s Singapore math curriculum. This version also has the shortest lessons and the least amount of workbook exercises. It does not align to U.S. Common Core standards, and you might have to supplement as it's more of a bare bones program. The Primary Math Standards Edition is the version that was created to align to California public school standards prior to Common Core. And then the Common Core Edition is, as you can imagine, the version that has been revised to more closely align to Common Core standards. And lastly is the 2022 edition. This version of primary math is very new and different from the other primary math editions, and I'm kind of wondering if we should have gone with this instead of Dimensions Math. This one is supposed to be good for students who struggle with math, although it can be used for all levels of ability. But if you have a student who does struggle with math, this is probably your best choice. It also has more scripted lesson plans, which is great for parents who also struggle with math. And this covers the same topics that are covered in U.S. public schools, but will hopefully give your child a better understanding of the concepts. And I also want to let you know that this math approach might be very different than how you learned math growing up. The curriculum we were using before was Horizons from AOP, and I liked that one because it was more like the way I remember learning math, but it just wasn't working for my daughter. She was learning, but she hated it because there is so much repetition. It's very spirally. So then we switched to Dimensions, and sometimes I'm like, what even is this? 
And I know a lot of parents with kids in public schools have probably experienced this, but not ever having had my kids in school, I was just really kind of surprised to see math presented in a way that was so different than what I remember. And my degree is in math, but that's why they have all the teacher guides and things like that to help you out. So now let's take a look at each program in more detail. So we'll start with dimensions. You can buy a complete set by grade level or just get the books individually. If you get a complete set, you'll need to choose between the set with the teacher's guides or the set with the home instructor's guides. So for a homeschool parent, you're probably going to want to go with the home instructor's set. Each set will include two textbooks meant to cover the entire school year and two workbooks. There are also two test books, two home instructor's guidebooks, and two books of printouts. You can also purchase this all individually, and you may not need the books of printouts because you can print them for free from the website. So that's really up to you if you want to buy those books or not. You can probably also get away without the instructor guides for the younger grades if you're good at math. I bought them, but so far I haven't really used them very much. A unique feature of the Dimensions Math curriculum is the at-home video subscription. I think this is really great, kind of like essentials in writing, which is what we use for our writing curriculum. Your child will still be doing all the work in their textbook and workbooks, but you won't have to teach the lessons to them, although they do recommend that you still have the home instructor or teacher guide. They have this available for grades one through six, and the cost is $85 per grade level for a one-year period. You can watch the whole first chapter of lessons for free, which is really amazing. So you might as well do that before you purchase the subscription. That way you extend it a little longer. With homeschooling, I just really love programs that include a video lesson that your child can watch in addition to the print curriculum. So I think this is pretty awesome. I'm going to show you the books that I have for Dimensions Math in a little bit, but first let's look at how to shop for primary math if you decide that that's the route you want to go. Unfortunately, they don't have the option for those video lessons, which is a bummer. But anyway, first you're going to need to decide which version you want to go with. Here's the 2022 edition, and for this, they don't have those bundles like they do for dimensions. So pick your grade level, and then you're going to need the student book, the home instructor or teacher's guide, and the additional practice book, which is the workbook. You'll probably also want to add the mastery and beyond book and the assessment guide. Same with the U.S. edition. They don't have the bundles like with dimensions. You'll need to pick your grade level, and then you're going to need the textbook and workbook and home instructor's guide. You might also want to add the extra practice book, the answer keys, and some of these other workbooks. You'll have similar choices with the Common Core and Standards Edition. There are also manipulatives that go along with each of the Singapore math programs. Just filter by which edition you're using, and you can shop for a whole bunch of recommended supplies by grade level. You can also view these guides up here to see which of these are recommended that you have for each level. Under resources are some more things I want to show you. If you don't want to purchase those additional home instructors printouts for Dimensions Math, you can do that here. For primary math, they have a list of suggested manipulatives, recommended supplementary titles, and this is where you can get the online access to MC Edu Hub which is also included with your purchase for the 2022 edition of Primary Math. You can also find the additional practice answer keys here. If you're not sure which level your child should start at, you can have them do a placement test. You can find those here. They have them for each edition of Singapore Math. You can print them out for free here. You can also take a look at sample pages from each of the different editions here. So this is a good way to help you decide which version to get. I really like how colorful they are. So make sure you take a look at some of these to help you decide. You can also check out the scope and sequence and common core alignments here if you want to. Okay, so since we've been using dimensions math, I just wanna show you what the books look like in person. So here I have the textbook, workbook, and the home instructor's guide. And you can see these are all soft cover books. And the textbook is actually designed so students can write inside it, which I think is pretty neat. It makes the textbook a little less boring. And then the workbook is similar, but it's not in color like the textbook. But for the workbook, you can tear out the pages 
and make copies. So that's good if you wanted to save it for another child in your family. So you might need two textbooks because you're writing them, but you wouldn't need two workbooks if you have a printer. And then here is the home instructor's guide. And it basically just has a whole bunch of information about how to teach each lesson. So for dimensions, there are two sets for each grade level, A and B, so basically one set per semester. And if you're wondering why my nine-year-old was using grade two textbooks, well, let me tell you, this is where the placement tests came in handy. I noticed that some of the things were definitely covered in a different order than with our old curriculum, so I had to go back to grade levels to make sure that we covered everything that was covered earlier because I didn't want to leave any gaps. And one thing that is good about this, if you're having to go back and cover things you might have missed, is that the lessons and chapters are kind of self-contained, if you know what I mean. So they'll have one chapter on this and one chapter on that. And even though the concepts build upon each other, it was pretty easy to just skip over the stuff that she already knew and just focus on the concepts that hadn't been covered yet. So hopefully we will be up to speed pretty soon. I know it can be problematic sometimes switching to a different curriculum, so you definitely want to make sure that you don't leave any gaps in their learning. And math is really a big deal to me as a parent, so in addition to dimensions, we're also doing Life of Fred sort of as a supplement. I started from the beginning and we're on book three or four now. She really loves it. I just wanted to start at the beginning so she could get the whole story. It's very different. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. And I do plan on doing a video on that very soon. She's also doing Synthesis Tutor, which I have reviewed on my channel, and Prodigy Math, which I haven't reviewed, but both of those she does maybe once or twice a week just for a little bit of extra practice so that I just like to make sure that we've covered everything and we're not missing anything. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to show you about the Singapore math curriculum and the different options. But there's one last thing I want to mention, and that's the online Singapore math program, eSingapore Math. So this is something that you can use either as a supplement to any of the Singapore math curriculums, or you could use it on its own as your entire math curriculum. It can be aligned to any of the Singapore math curriculum textbooks, including dimensions and primary math. So you can choose which edition to use, or you can choose the adaptive math curriculum, which doesn't require any textbooks and will adapt to your child's unique learning needs. You can get a five-day free trial of eSingapore Math, and after that, it's $99 a year for the full program. If you want to view this program in detail, I have a full video review on my channel that you can check out. I'm thinking we might add this in the fall just to make sure my daughter is getting a full understanding of all the math concepts. I really hope this video helped you understand what Singapore Math is all about and all of your different options if you want to use this math curriculum in your home school. Of course, if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you so much for watching.